All right, so it's me and Atma again. Um, we're still in the hotel. Not the most preferable um, form of living, hotel the hotel. But I have a really important um, practice. I think the other night I was using my pendulum and for what you normally would use a pendulum for, find, you know, if you're what they call it, like divination, you know, okay, so it's spinning, that means, you know, it's giving you a yes, this is true, if it's doing the other thing, it's giving you a no, and so I'm like, oh, my pendulum is broke. Um, that sucks, but broke, I can use it. To show people how to move things with your mind, to practice to how to move things with your mind in telekinesis. Now, when you're doing a pendulum, Normally, you want to be completely, you know, not you, and just let the energy channel through. But, um, don't believe everybody with the pendulum, because what I'm going to show you right now is that this is a great practice for telekinesis and moving things with your mind. Okay. So I now want you to move counterclockwise. I now want you to move counterclockwise. I now want you to move further counterclockwise. In greater circles, counterclockwise. Okay, put a little haywire. Smaller circles, counterclockwise. Stop, stop. Now move back and forth. Move back and forth. Move back and forth. Bigger circles, because it's easier to keep in contact. Move back and forth. Move even back and even more forth. Move even back and even more forth. So you're going to see my hand is not moving at all. Move back and forth. Move back and forth more than they could believe you could move back and forth without doing anything. Move back and forth. Move back and forth. Stop. Stop. Move in counterclockwise circles. Move in counterclockwise circles. Move in counterclockwise circles. Move in clockwise circles. Back and forth. Move in clockwise circles. 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 Okay, I mean, if you can't see see that, um, oh, baby's in the way. Move in clockwise circles. And you can do it silently as well. Back and forth. Counterclockwise circles. So there you go. I mean, it's fairly simple. To, to do this, but um, you want to practice um, starting off with telekinesis, moving objects, you buy a pendulum, um, you break it, you can't use it to divine the truth from the, the lie anymore, so uh, you have it as a device to, to practice your telekinesis and you start getting big circles and then you see if you can actually switch it you know I did switch it from clockwise exactly to counterclockwise so it'd be like this huge big ripple it'd be pretty it'd be pretty uh once it's going in a circle it'd be pretty a lot of energy you need to to, to make it go exactly in the other circle um but in without doing the back and forth in between so um, if 
you can get yourself one, find yourself one, you know, you can sit there practicing, or hold it for a while, you know, start with small circles, start with small circles, and then as you can get better and better at it, you can go to bigger circles. Your breath has a lot to do with. Has a lot to do with the the movement restriction. It's not your breath, it's just like energy. It's just energy, it's not breath or anything. But um yeah, and that's that's it. That's Amma. She's in a little chair. <laughs> We're gonna go rest now. Okay. Namaste. Talk soon.